At first, I couldn't make sense out of it. The fact that former President Trump could actually do anything he wishes and have total immunity from prosecution due to the fact that he's running for the office of President of the United States. On second thought, I can see very clearly how all this is happening. During the first 12 months of the 2024 election cycle, presidential candidates collected 374.9 million and dispersed 270.8 million. Congressional candidates collected 1.3 billion and dispersed 718.7 million. Political parties received 684.5 million and spent 595 million. And political action committees, PACs, raised 3.7 billion and spent 3.1 billion, according to campaign finance reports filed with the Federal Election Commission that cover activity from January 1, 2023 through December 31st, 2023. Disbursements for independent expenditures reported in this period totaled 273.6 million. Communication costs reported to the commission totaled $16,892. No electioneering communications filings were reported to the commission during this period. This election is not about principles and policies. It's all about money. It was very obvious why all the billionaires backed Trump because he gave them a tax cut when he first got in office. In this corporate environment of the United States, I'm sure that all of these billionaires and their multi-billion dollar corporations are looking for a return on their investments, especially those who are heavily invested in the fossil fuel industry. We can't stop the future from coming, but we can reduce carbon emissions. So they got Donald Trump and his brainwashing crew to tell people that climate change is just a hoax, just like he told them that the pandemic was a hoax. Nothing that Donald Trump says has to be true or has to make any sense whatsoever because his followers will believe anything he says and do anything he wishes. That's how stupid. I mean, brainwashed, they are all of them are suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. Anytime Donald Trump makes a statement, it is echoed on Fox News. There are so many false claims of a witch hunt and the judicial system being weaponized. The GOP has turned into the most hypocritical institution known to man. Think about all the things that Nikki Haley said on the campaign trail about how Donald Trump was not fit for office. That is just one of many examples, but the one thing that I want to talk about is Monica Lewinsky. Oh, yes. This definitely is a point of hypocrisy for the Republican Party who jumped all over President Clinton for his sexual affair with the then intern Monica Lewinsky. In fact, he was actually impeached. Just ask Al Gore if this had any effect on the following election. But today's sex scandal with Donald Trump is considered election interference. President Bill Clinton was charged with perjury for lying under oath. I truly believe that this is why Donald Trump did not take the stand in his own defense, because he has been known to lie often about many things. It would have been easy to prove that he was lying about this affair with Stormy Daniels beyond a reasonable doubt. In Bill Clinton's case, it came down to a technicality of terms concerning sex. Knowing how they went after President Clinton, I don't see how they can come to the determination that this trial was a witch hunt. It sounds very much like hypocrisy. We also know that there was bipartisan legislation that would have helped solve the problems at the border. But Donald Trump would not allow this legislation to be brought to the table for a vote because he did not want the Democrats to get any credit for solving what is conceived as a border crisis. The only way that Donald Trump manages to make himself seem like he is presidential is by using his authoritarian mannerism to manipulate his weak-minded followers. They must all believe that running the government is just like Celebrity Apprentice. When Donald Trump hugs that American flag, it's not America that he loves, it's the privilege that America has provided for him that he's in love with. When Trump published the Great American Bible, it was to gain access to the following of those who are faithful to the church or considered themselves evangelicals. All of this political polarization is intentional in order to keep all of us fighting amongst each other while he takes advantage of the margins that he needs to gain power. At first, I couldn't make sense out of it. The fact that former President Trump could actually do anything he wishes and have total immunity from prosecution due to the fact that he's running for the office of President of the United States. On second thought, 
I can see very clearly how all this is happening. During the first 12 months...